and that is psychology. Let us discuss this psychology in detail. First of all, let us see what does psychology mean. The term psychology is actually derived from two words. One is psychos. It is psychos. Psychos means simply sad. It simply means sad. And second one is logic. Logic means study. So what does now psychology mean? Is psychology is simply defined as a branch of biology that deals with the study of cells, including the structure of the cell, composition of the cell, as well as the functions of the cell. Now, first of all, we will look towards what does actually cell mean. Cell mean. You know, cells are simply defined as basic units of the life. These are called basic units of the life. What does that mean? Basic units of the life. It means the survival of life is dependent upon the cells. Because if we look towards our body, our body is composed of cells. These cells later on get combined and they form another very important structure. And that structure is simply called as a, that structure is simply called as a tissue. Tissue. In our body, there are four types of tissues. We have the epithelial tissue, we have the muscular tissue, we have the nervous tissue, and then we have the connective tissue. These tissues later on they can combine to form another very important structure, and that structure is called organ. This is called organ. Organ. Later on, the different organs they get combined to form organ system. They form organ system. Our body uh, is composed of different organ systems. Like that, we have the digestive system. We have the respiratory system. Digestive system is a system that is responsible for the conversion of complex molecules of the food into the simpler molecules of the food. We have the respiratory system. So respiratory system is an organ system. It's made up of different organs. Your digestive system is an organ system. It's made up of different organs. Say for example, mouth. So for example, also tiger, say for example, stormer, say for example, small intestine, large intestine, and all that. So what I mean is that, that our body is made of cells, cells will get combined to form the tissue, tissues will get combined to form the organs, organs will get combined to form the organ system, and later on, uh, uh, organ systems will get combined and they will form the body of an organism. When the body is formed, it means it will give rise uh, to a particular individual. So that is why we said that cells are called the basic units of the life. What does that 